Welcome back to the channel, my fellow hot rodders, gearheads, and racers. Today, we're just going to talk about port matching. And port matching as opposed to gasket matching. So, right here we have our Windsor, and we have our Victor Jr. that's going to be going on there. And I'll just go over the process and what I did and, and how you can do it at home. And uh, just try and break it down real quick of why it's better to uh, port match rather than gasket match. So, um, right here, I'll just kind of show you some of the work that I did to this. Pretty basic stuff on the intake. Um, all right. So, as you can see, done a small amount of work here inside the plenum. And there was a lot of like sharp edges that were sticking out and uh, rough casting. And so I just took uh, my sanding rolls and went in here and straightened that out and just smoothed it up to get rid of that. And did the same thing all the way around. And also did it um, up under there, maybe hard to see, but basically on that there, on that top side of that turn, where it goes uh, for the long ports, you can kind of see it. But there was a lot of uh, rough casting and sharp edge up in this area. And so we also took care of that. So that's just, just a couple things we did uh, with the plenum side of the intake, just to help that out. And of course, this has already been gasket matched. So I'll just flip this up so you can see that. All right. Um, there you can see that this has already been done. Um, when you are doing this uh, port matching, um, when you're laying this out, make sure that you're dragging it back in and straightening this path out. And you're opening it up all the way back in here and not just the mouth. If you're only opening the mouth, you're doing a disservice to yourself. You need to lay that all the way back in there and open it up because it's actually larger back in here. And it's not going to be able to, it's not going to want to make that sharp turn there real quick if it's just angled only at the edge. So I like to try and get in there uh, about an inch and a half to two inches. You can kind of see back in there and just straighten that area all up and getting get rid of any uh, casting our sharp uh, sharp edges that can be back in there or anything like that. So just giving you a peek at uh, what I did on that. Uh, it's always hard to see. But that's kind of there. There may be this angle there. You can kind of see back in there that I laid it all the way back down in there and it wasn't just at the edge. So another thing is I never open it up all the way. I like to leave oh, about 30, 40 thousandths depending on what side it's on. It's better for this port to be smaller than for this to be too big and you to have an edge. And I'll just go over here to the head. So, uh, for example, if I take this gasket and like a lot of pretty much all YouTube videos that you look at, hardly, I don't know if I've seen any that don't, that don't tell you this, but if you lay this gasket on like they tell you to, on your intake manifold and if you centered it on here, like they tell you to do, so it's centered top and bottom, side to side, and then you open this up, what's going to happen is it's not going to match up to your port. 
see what what goes on is is this side over here actually on this engine uh, this side over here you can see there's no black mark whatsoever that's because that side was actually matched up already on both sides both sides this side and the other side of the intake manifold it was the same way so this side matched up real nice and this side over here was too small and the top of the port was actually real nice and the bottom I drugged on some but not a whole lot um, the bottom it doesn't really flow a whole lot of air down there I took about half of it out uh, compared to what it was and you know like I said I'd like to leave that 30 40 thousandths at least so if I would have centered this like they all suggested you to do that thing would have been hanging over here the intake manifold so it's going to leave this sharp edge where it's going to be hitting so this would have been a ledge it would have been open over here in this blue area is where it would have been so that's where that intake would have matched up if I would have centered it and um, gasket matched it to that size so then over here there would be a lot of material left on this side where it wasn't opened all the way back so it could make uh, use this whole area and cut around that corner so basically we're creating a bunch of turbulence because it would have had this sharp ledge where it's pulling it through and it's got to come around that ledge and hit that sharp edge and it would have been hitting it all the way around except the bottom if I would have done that it would have hit up here if I would have centered it, it would have hit over here the bottom would not have and this side would have been too small so you can see why gasket matching is not the right way to do an intake manifold port matching what I did is the right thing to do so you need to of course these are gasket matched to the head and that's why that lines up so nice there so you need to take your intake gaskets and you get them stuck to your head see I've got some tape holding them on so I can put them right where I want them to and when you get those centered and put exactly where they're gonna go then you take your intake manifold on your assembled engine with your head gaskets and your intake gaskets so when you put the intake on there that's where the things actually gonna sit so you're not gonna have those sharp edges and, and areas where you can create turbulence so you've got your gaskets on you set your intake manifold on and then you line up your intake manifold to your ports and your bolt holes and you get it centered on there and it, which is real nice with the Victor Junior because you can see it on the ports and you you can look at these center these short runners on both sides and you can get that lined up real nice so it makes it easy and then when you've got it lined up then you need to mark it out where it's sitting over here on the ends on both the front side and the back side on both sides of the block so of course I did that over here you can see it and back here so after you've done that you know where it's gonna sit front and back and then you gotta see where it's gonna sit up and down so you're gonna have to find out where this gasket sits on the intake manifold and I'll just flip this down again so where that gasket's gonna sit according to this part of the intake all the way around on all four corners so you want to measure the distance that this gasket sits either up above the intake or below the intake on those corners so when you get when you figure out that measurement there on those corners where it sits on the intake and you've got this marked out then you know exactly where these gaskets are going to match up when they're actually sitting on the block when you bolt the thing down so at that point 
when you've got that figured out and that figured out, you can then take these gaskets and you can tape them to your intake manifold. And then, when they are taped to your intake manifold, so you want to tape them between the ports here on the top and the bottom, and then flip it over and make sure it's matched up. Those lines that you created are matched up here. And then that distance that you measured here on these corners is lined up. When you've got all that, then you can mark it. And then you can port it out and open it up and then use your sanding rolls and smooth that all out. And I always suggest like an 80 grit when you're working on the intake, you need a little bit of roughness in there so that the uh, fuel has something that will hold it to the wall um, during low velocity, uh, you know, where you're doing just part throttle kind of stuff. So the fuel doesn't want to puddle up. Yeah, don't ever mirror finish the inside of that because that could make it puddle up and it'll want to flood and he'll have a lot of fluttering and it will cause tuning problems and it'll be a pain. Always leave a little bit of roughness in there. So yeah, then you can port match your intake manifold. So that is going to match your engine perfectly you'll get more performance out of it you'll be much happier and you'll know that you did it the right way now the only way that you can do this better is by actually bolting this thing to your heads put it on a flow bench and then using those numbers to open it up and straighten it out and work the areas that need improvement so this is Pretty much the best thing that you're going to be able to do in your garage is just what I showed you so that you can get your max performance out of your engine, knowing that you did it the right way. All right, I will let you guys go now. Remember to hit that like, share, subscribe, ring that bell. You guys keep wrenching. You keep having fun. Keep working on your hot rods. We'll see you next time.